What's up everyone? I am the Kaiji no Kami and this is my quickie review for Morbius. This video is brought to you by the Kaiji no Kami store, creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. You can buy all kinds of cool Kaiji no Kami merchandise. We've got t-shirts, notebooks, pens, water bottles, and a poster. Check it out, and thank you for your business. Now back to the review. I need more plasma. If you don't know who Morbius is, he was originally a Spider-Man villain who was a scientist that had a blood disease that ended up turning himself into a vampire that went on a bunch of adventures fighting cultists, demons, and the like on top of Spider-Man until he finally got cured and had to go on trial with She-Hulk being his defendant and then he became a vampire again, and so on. Morbius was actually the very first comic book series I bought with my own money. So I had bought Morbius number one and Morbius number two, and then over the years I had gotten, when they were coming out, a bunch of the other comics in the 90s. As you can see, um, some don't have their covers anymore. Oops. And Morbius, ever since I was introduced to this character, has always been one of my favorite Marvel heroes, anti-heroes, however you want to put it. Most people might know him from the Spider-Man cartoon series where he had suction cups on his hand. He's like, plasma, I must have the plasma, plasma, give me plasma. That's not Morbius. Some of it is, but the suction cup things, no. He has the powers of like a normal vampire. He sucks blood, he can fly on wind currents, or glide technically I guess is what it was. He has super strength and speed and so forth. So I have been waiting 30 years for a Morbius movie. When this movie was finally announced, I'm like, okay, there are two things that's gonna happen. First, it could have been, oh my god, this is the greatest comic book movie I've ever seen in my life. It was totally worth the 30 years I've been waiting for a Morbius movie. On the other hand, there was also the fear that was going to be, oh my god, this is the worst comic book movie ever. This makes Jonah Hex look amazing. Well, sadly I cannot say it was the former, but happily I cannot say it's the latter either. Morbius is just a mid-2000s Marvel comic book movie in 2022. There's nothing downright amazing about it, but it could have been so much better. Let's talk about the good. The first third of the film was really well done. It did a really nice job of setting up what was going on, setting up Morbius' character, his ambitions, his motivations, what he's going through, and what he strives to do in life. It even had Martine from the comics, who was Morbius' girlfriend there, in this movie. I know when they first announced that Morbius would be played by Jared Leto, a lot of people were like, ugh. Me, I was like, you know what? He actually has the right bone structure to play Morbius. I mean, if you look at this artwork here, I was like, I totally see that being Jared Leto, actually. It just fits. So when he was announced to be playing Morbius, I had no problem with it. When they said Matt Smith was going to be in this movie, I was like, oh my god, Matt Smith is awesome. I can't wait to see him. So anyway, getting back to the good, since I'm getting off topic now, we have this really good setup of everything going on, what Morbius is doing, and him becoming the vampire, and then we get this really kick-ass horror movie-esque scene where I was thinking, oh, this movie's going to go the horror route, not the superhero route. Yes, thank you. You guys have totally read Morbius comic books. You've got his powers accurate. Cool. And then the movie kept going. It went into the generic route. Oh, Matt Smith. He is playing this character that is sick as well and gets jealous and then becomes a villain and what? Matt Smith was hands down the worst atrocity of this film. This dude phoned his performance in. He was clearly there just to collect a paycheck. He clearly did not give a damn about what the hell he was doing. 
and I know in interviews he was saying that he was confused on his character. Yeah, you're going to be confused because, my God, you didn't give a damn about what the hell you were doing. It works both ways. Yeah, the character was shittily written, but your performance was equally shitty. And you know what? If you're going to have a shitty performance because your character's shitty, then it shows that you really didn't care. You should have at least tried to excel over the shittiness of your character to make it look like where you actually cared about this movie. But yeah, every scene with Matt Smith was awkward and cringy. He does the whole Spider-Man 3 Peter Parker thing when he's in the symbiote suit and he's just strutting down the street like, oh yeah, oh yeah, and that dance thing in the jazz club. The difference is... Peter is this nerdy kid that thinks that's what badass is. Matt Smith's character is just a moron, I guess. And it's so predictable. Like, you know at this scene that happens that, oh, this is the direction the movie's headed. And that's exactly the direction the movie heads to. I don't understand why they went this route. It's like they started off to make a horror movie and then they got scared and just went straight forward for the rest of the way. Now again, as I said, they clearly have read Morbius comic books because they got the character of Morbius far more accurate than like the yahoos who have done Flash in the DC Cinematic Universe for DC. It's just they didn't want to do anything extraordinary. And then when it feels like the movie is truly beginning, the credits start rolling. It didn't even feel like it was an actual ending. It felt like what we watched that was the end was like the mid-battle. That that was just the battle that you always see in the middle of a comic book movie. And that there was going to be a lot more afterwards. But no, it's just Morbius is flying and boom. Title comes up, credits start rolling. And there are two mid-credit scenes. Maybe the worst mid-credit scenes in any Marvel movie ever. Even worse than the credit scenes in Venom 2. Those mid-credit scenes suck. Especially the second one, which really bites. Yeah, that's all the vampire puns I'm going to give you. Speaking of Venom, I will say Morbius is better than both Venom movies. So if you liked Venom and Venom 2, you're most likely going to enjoy Morbius. Other areas the movie failed in was its soundtrack. The soundtrack was not the least bit suspenseful. It was not the least bit memorable. I don't even remember any of the soundtrack to it, which is a real shame because comic book movie soundtracks usually have at least one track that I'm really into for days on end. Whereas here, I'm like, what did the music sound like? Huh, I don't remember. That's bad. That's really bad. Overall, I'm going to give Morbius a sadly deserved 6 out of 10. It wasn't as bad as it could have been, but it should have been a whole lot better better. Personally, I think the movie should have been just strictly about Morbius and the torture he's going through now being a vampire and having to suck blood. They should have done like a little adaptation from Vampire Tales where he ends up in this really like small town that ends up being run by cultists that he has to protect a girl from and he ends up fighting this creature called demon fire that could have been a unique take as well because you could have had him grow as a character doing this protecting this woman trying to resist the temptation to drink her blood because she's easy prey she's right there one other thing i forgot to mention is there's these two cops one's played by tyrese gibson and they're absolutely pointless they have no purpose in the film at all their story goes nowhere. You could have cut them out and you would have never noticed anything had been changed. If you're a diehard comic book fan who wants to see every comic book movie in theaters, by all means, check Morbius out. You have probably seen a lot worse. On the other hand, if you only want to see the best of the best, don't bother. As a Morbius fan, I'm disappointed, but I can't say I'm totally disappointed because, again, it wasn't Jonah Hex bad which is what it could have been. I know when I saw Jonah Hex, which should have been like the easiest character ever for DC to do, I sat there like, oh my God. I didn't feel that way with Morbius. I felt, eh, it could have been better. 
Could have been worse. Have you seen Morbius? Let me know in the comments. Have you liked the character beforehand? Did you know nothing about him until now? Did you just know him from the anime series or did you read comics with him? Whatever the case, I want to know. Click like, subscribe, the bell notification, whatever else YouTube has you clicking on to support me. You can support me on Patreon at Kaiju no Kami, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, Kaiju no Kami, and my website, creativitybydesignllc.com. And you can get cool Kaiju no Kami merchandise from creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. Until next time, bye.